Good morning, all. It is a rather chilly Sunday morning, which of course means bagel Sunday. On my way to go pick up bagels, and it is only, well, right now it went up a degree, so it's 46 degrees. The AC was on upstairs, because I leave it on upstairs because it's always hotter upstairs. And when we woke up this morning, it was at like 62, which even for me is, is pretty cold. I had to turn the heat on again. Ugh. I hate having to turn the heat on after it's been, you know, like 80 degrees and gorgeous out. Today it is gorgeous out. Perfect blue skies and sunny. The high is only going to be like 54 and we're pretty much around the low now, which was supposed to be like 45. Blah. The next few days it's actually going to be kind of chilly with I think either Tuesday or Wednesday being the coldest where it's going to go into the 30s and then back up into the 70s. So yeah, all over the place. Today I am going to probably go to Pleasure House Point and I'm just taking the 200 to 600, although I think I may take in the Interrel carbon fiber tripod that I got, the little travel one, just to see how it, it fares with a big heavy setup like my birding setup on it and, you know, put it through some paces. Plus, it'll be nice to actually just be able to set the camera down on, on a tripod instead of hand holding it. I say that, but you know what could happen is that it'll be cumbersome and a pain in the ass. So we'll see. But for now, let's just go get some bagels and snarf. Bagels gotten. Time to snarf. Heading to Pleasure House Point right now. Trying a little experiment, as I usually do. I've got the A7 IV vlogging setup, so with the 16 to 35. And then I have the A7R4 with the 200 to 600. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm bringing the Interrel carbon fiber travel tripod. I'm doing everything with my cotton carrier on. I want to see if that makes a big difference, a little difference, no difference, uh, just as miserable. I want to see how that works out because I'm going to have the vlogging camera on the second part here and then I'll have the R4 on the main part and the Interrel carbon fiber tripod is in its bag at least for walking there you know to and from and all that kind of shit I'm not carrying my my man purse I just bring one phone in in case I have a problem like if I trip and break an ankle or something I can call somebody and that's it I'm not going to be carrying in the full bag or any of that stuff. I thought about bringing the collapsible seat. We'll see how I feel once I get there. But I want to see if I can go in there with, with two cameras, one being a film camera and one being my still camera, and see if I can do that comfortably and reliably. Because a lot of times, especially lately, I'm just walking into Pleasure House Point. I'm taking pictures and stuff. And then I come out, you know, and you're getting like, all right, I'm going to go in there and see what I can find. And then, you know, in a millisecond, and it's like, well, okay, that was a kind of a bust or whatever. So I want to see how this works in like basically a comfortable way. It's got to be completely comfortable for me because if it isn't and it's a pain in the ass, then I'm never going to do it. And you know, I like to, to film on this a7 IV over everything else. So we're going to see how that works out. I think that having this cotton carrier, and I always say, I hate to say game changer, but I say it all the time. So fuck it. It's going to be a game changer because now I can just put both cameras down and have my hands free. Whereas before I had, you know, my man purse on, I had the camera hanging on this one, I had the other camera in my hand, and I was trying to, to like sometimes take pictures while I was holding the filming camera with the mantis pod on it, and it, it just doesn't work that way. And, and then I get horrible footage and I get shitty pictures. So we're gonna see. I've said that enough. Let's go see. Okay, so I just followed this guy over here. This is a great egret. He's already caught three or four fish, so he's snacking hard. And I'm digging it because I got a ton of pictures of him. Definitely the way to go. 200 to 600, no extender on it. Handheld and kick butt. Thanks, great egret. All right, so I had a slight change of plans. Dumb Monkey is wearing his Clark boots. His Clark boots are shredding his foot and his ankle. I had to actually stop at one point, take the boot off, take the sock off to make sure that the Band-Aid that I put on was still in place. It was. The moleskin that I put on the boot yesterday, I know they say you're supposed to put it on yourself, but screw that. I put it on the uh, boot and it shredded me. 
so it basically tore me up. There's another bird over there that I need to get. It looks like a cormorant taking a bath. Okay, so I guess the cormorant didn't like me watching it take a bath. Who figures? All right, so anyways, the, the Clark boot is digging me up. My heel already had a blister that broke open from yesterday. I got a bandage on that. I still didn't put the right socks on today because the boot sock didn't seem to help much yesterday at all. And because I put on my normal lower sock, now it's shredding me at the top of the boot that's digging into my ankle slash shin. So I'm fairly miserable and I'm hobbling about and I wasn't really getting anything. And then I saw a, a great egret and I followed it in a couple ponds in. I was able to get back to it and I got a ton of shots of it. Then as I was walking out, I came across another smaller great egret and then all of a sudden an ibis landed next to it. So I got a ton of shots of that. And, and then I've been getting, uh, there were some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, great blue herons and egrets all over there. Here comes another one flying towards me. A bunch of them. Crap! Let me see if I can get these damn egrets that are flying around. Or were, until I came back. Eh. Okay, so I totally didn't get anything. I am going to hobble my ass home and clean these boots and then put a shit ton more waterproofing on them to try to help break in that leather. So let's go back to the truck. Okay, kids, that was actually a lot of fun, with the exception of my foot being carved into hamburger by my boot, but win some, lose some, right? Okay, so yeah, I got uh, a bunch, I mean a bunch of baller pictures of a great egret because I climbed over mud and reed and water and all that kind of stuff to get two ponds back to where it was and he didn't give a shit about me so i got him fishing he was eating like a champ too man he caught like three fish in the time that i was taking the pictures of him so i got great pictures of the great egret and then as i was making my way back to the truck i ended up getting a bunch of pictures of a cardinal and it after it settled down a little bit i was able to get it from a couple of different angles and I, I mean, I could have just sat there for a while, which I mean, I, I guess I did. I probably took 20 or 30 pictures of it and that was pretty cool. And then I thought I was done, but then I didn't want to be done. So I cut back into the park and walked around and I got a smaller egret and then an ibis flew up. So I got a bunch of pictures of the ibis too. Then I decided to walk all the way around and that's where I saw some of the bigger birds again. So there were a couple of great blue herons, a couple of really big great egrets and I got some pictures of them, but they were pretty far away. As I was walking back, there were some other big birds that came out and then I ended up coming across a, a, a nice young man makes me sound old as shit, doesn't it? But he was a nice guy. We stopped and we talked for a while. And while we were talking, an osprey started circling around and just torturing me. And I finally got it. It went into the woods and it landed up in a tree. And I'm willing to bet that it was the gargoyle that I saw or something like it because the damn thing was pretty big. And it was in the same area where I saw the gargoyle and or the predator. Now, it could have just been an osprey. And that last time I did see a gargoyle, but We'll never know. So yeah, did that, got a couple of pictures of that one. Haven't really looked at them at all. And I don't know if any of them came out, but that's okay because I got the Cardinal and the Egret and the Ibis. So yeah, it was a pretty pretty good day for, for pictures. Uh, the sun went away and it's actually pretty chilly. And I, of course I walked back there without a jacket like a dumbass. So it was a little chilly, but I mean, as long as I was walking, it was pretty good. And that's that. Now I'm going to three ships to get us some afternoon bean. And then I'm gonna go home and slice this boot off my aching foot. And I don't know, just chill. Again, I didn't ever take the freaking uh, NRL carbon fiber tripod out of the bag because of my foot. So I'll have to do that some other time. But all in all, great day out at Pleasure House Point. And that's all I got for you because that's quite a lot. I can't wait to get home and get these pictures off and I'm gonna put a bunch of them or I will have already put a bunch of them in this video so you can see them. So yeah, that's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.